here. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Tonight with Cassidy. Cassidy. Matt is just roaming decide. around. She, you can't decide. You know, the snow Where threw me you? off today, Matt. you got to block this thing out, man. This is your show. It's got your name on it. Do you want me on this side, or do you want me over here on this side? Last time you were here, like we had better. a llama walking around, and the llama just roamed around, so I figured that's what we could do through this whole segment. Uh, I'll stand. My llama here, we'll switch sides. I'll go to this side. Is that going to totally throw off our director, You look good wherever you Maybe. are. Maybe. Oh, thank yeah, you. That's all good. So it is Wednesday. We like to call it Weird Wednesday on the show, so we do a segment called That is So Portland. We and do. we have our resident weird expert, I a.k.a. Am. chief meteorologist here at KW, Matt Zafino. Thank you. Last time we had a llama for you. I'm sorry we don't have a llama this time. However, we've got a band you were interested in, and we found some very interesting things on the internet. Did we, are we going to do the cheese throwing thing like we did 10 minutes ago in the newsroom? Yes, yeah, so you. Only we had recorded that. Apparently, yeah. I'm the only one in no idea this who's the thing. on the internet enough to know about the throw cheese at your baby challenge. So, yeah, Matt, she's the only one at KGW on the internet enough. Or too much? <laughs> too much? Should I say that? But Matt just ninja starred. Cheese at my eyeball. Chinese throwing star? Yeah. You could take an eye out with that. But it was American soft, you know, that cheesy cheese. And did it really hurt? No. No, it didn't hurt. Cassie threw her. She didn't get over the monitor. So I put a, I put a little mustard on it. Way back. Okay, but by the way, that was not my first near-death experience today. Thanks to the weather today. Drama. I slipped and fell in basically slow motion. Saw my life flash before my eyes on my face. How? In the square. Really? Just wet bricks. It was like, I can't stop it, everyone's watching me, boom, yeah, it's not good. You, you didn't scratch it. I know, my face yeah, is okay, my hands are a little, little gravelly, but that's okay. <laughs> good, I'm glad you're good. <laughs> now, producer Christian is like, what is going on what here? Should we get to here? some of the internet things? Sure, let's do the so internet -y things. Okay, first up. Out there on the interweb. We have, we had to throw in a weather one for you, okay? So it says, snow over it when you start to panic at the mere suggestion of another snow day and would give your left kidney for it just to be spring already. That's quite the investment, the old left kidney. Mm -hmm. um, unless they're just talking about drinking a lot of tequila and giving it up that way. That's true. Um, you know what, I, I, in Snowbird is good. I was like, here we snow again. Oh, talking yeah. about, you know, yesterday about today. So it happened, but it was a good snowfall because it, beautiful. it was kinder and gentler. It exactly. melted, didn't cause any traffic issues, which was great. No traffic but issues. That is a very Portland sentiment. Humans slipping and falling on their face issues. <laughs> That's just a me problem. Okay. You're not that, I mean, you're not a spaz. I've seen you snowboard. You got some skill. Thank you. Yeah. I just needed, if I had a snowboard, if, you there, been if fine. the snow stuck and Were I had my those snowboard. Were you no, those no, I was wearing some Sorrells. They All had right. traction, okay? Those are stylish. <sighs> Thank you. Okay. Like a little elfin girl from, from Lord of the Rings in those things. Sure, yeah, that's me. Okay, so this, yeah, this is not what I was wearing because this elfin piece woman, would not have what good traction. Next up. What do we have next? Is it? Oh, yeah. Okay. So apparently, Reed College students are hypothetically about to set a world record for creating the world's biggest stick of chalk. Wow. What do you do with that? Who Make the knows? world's biggest hopscotch thing out on the on the street. The world's That's biggest. That's pretty cool. Painful sound in everyone's ears. No, those would be the, the, nails. the nails on the chalkboard. But that board. big of a chalk chalk piece has to be painful too. You know, everybody needs to follow their dream. Yeah. And if, if, if that's, that's what it if is, that's it, then go Chalk for it. Chalk it up to them, right? Ah, nice. Well played. I like Thank it. You. Good <laughs> one. Nice. So they've actually, they had the Guinness World Record people come and measure it. Oh, they it. did. And so far, they haven't confirmed it. They have to get all the data to be confirmed or everything, whatever. But it looks like it has been, it is a little bigger than the previous world record holder. It'd be really interesting to talk to those uh, Guinness people. Uh, you know, who set the records and what they have to do to make sure that it's an actual record. Yeah. I mean, that'd be, you get them I on the show sometime. That'd be fun. Yeah, we should. You deserve a record. Thank you. Yeah. Everyone join our Facebook group and pick what record I should do. Okay, last but not least, normally, you know, we talk about funny things, yeah, weird things. This right. one, it does fall into the weird category, but it gets sentimental. It is, and we're not, jo we joke around a lot on this show, especially tonight, but we're, this is in all seriousness, and this is a, a really interesting request by somebody saying he wants to grant his mother's last wish, who was a fan of old classic cars, <laughs> And she has some health issues, and you know she wants her ashes to be uh, spread. blown out of the back of a very specific car, a convertible '64 Chevy Impala SS, which is a really cool car. So anybody out there with a 1964 convertible Chevy Impala SS, and you're willing to help grant somebody's final wish, yeah. give, contact Cassidy. We'll put you together because I mean that's that's pretty cool. Right, so the kid posted that on Reddit yeah. and people are in the comments suggesting places like car dealerships to go check out in Portland or people to call. So Good we idea. tweeted that out from our Cassidy Tonight Twitter Which account. Is awesome. So yeah. just go follow the Reddit link and leave a comment on there because we would love to hear that a great be end to this story. To get yes. to get that final wish granted. Yes. Yeah, it'd be great. Thank you so
so much, resident it's a pleasure. expert. It's so fun.